and welcome back to Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai with the Scramble for the Far East mod. Right, let's get straight into it, shall we? We're gonna cross over the bridge and attack it, and then we're gonna subjugate the British entirely. Upon doing that, there will be a switch in strategy. We will start to focus more on the tier 2 infantry uh, armies, or the in not necessarily all infantry as I've recruited yes, cavalry and so on, but um, specifically that's the difference and they will be sent to deal with the French and will start kind of a French campaign while, the, while we try to as best as possible keep just the status quo or some kind of um, um, uh, peace along the border here with the two clans that we are bordering and uh, yeah there's one thing we need to deal with the traitor right um, Edmund is it Edmund? Edmund Holtz uh, we need to deal with him the thing though is which I'm which I thought of right as I started this video is what if we can turn him back and then I can use him against the French, and um, you know, as uh, as uh, what's he called? Drago said, "If he dies, he dies." Um, so we'll collect the best prostitutes throughout our part of Japan, and we'll send them directly towards him. So we got one here. Um, she's pretty good at enchanting, but I've been building most of these towards uh, entertaining nobles. So she will make her way towards there, and this one will make her way down. He's uh, actually up here right now, I think, right? Destination Outer Manchuria? Um, I don't think the train goes that far. Um, because he's... Um, I think going that down this line is best, probably. So we want to go something like that. Okay, so she didn't go that far, and there's a lot of train riding here. Wait, one, two, three, four. I only have four. Oh, and one is part of the army here. And newly recruited. She's... She's kind of worthless then. Yeah, she's got no trains whatsoever. Well, maybe she can gain some. Uh, right. We'll send this one that way. Maybe he likes this one better. Who knows? Um, interesting thing. I don't know why. Maybe this is for everyone, but this one's called Thomas. Um, we have Thomas. We have Stefan. Gregor. And Eric. I don't know, like, maybe he... I, I don't know, Prussia specializes in Japanese femboys? I am not sure um, what what's going on there. Anyways, let's forget about the femboys. And, uh... Go ahead and attack the enemy. We'll have to strike at this one, because this is apparently the only one I'm allowed to strike. <laughs> Which I would rather face like the fresh force first. Or the one that. This one actually. Which I believe is this one. Uh, I couldn't get to that one because I'd have to go around. But at least this one because this one's bigger. So there'll be a lot of reinforcements right off the way. And I mean, well, not really. They can't fit that many more. But as soon as I break down this one, which will be go rather quickly because a lot of these are not even at half strength. Uh, even less and then we'll um, we'll go after uh, Bruce they're all called Bruce last time it was Duncan this time it's Quentin but with that said let's go back to the Setsu Plains and recover our glory I was in the process of setting up my formations as the enemy were moving in uh, on the attack. So you can see the enemy army is moving forward right here. I was setting up spikes all over the place. I'm kind of 
paranoid, both in this battle and the last, that the enemy would turn up behind me, like turn up here somehow. Not that they could, but, um, well, they're not supposed to because of the other side of the river. But who knows, maybe they found another spot to cross. Um, right, the enemy is coming at us. Sir, I fear your general is in mortal peril, sir. He is? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, my guard units over here is doing pretty well. Reorganize that a little bit. We're getting fired upon from the hill by the tier 2 units. I'll pull these towards... back towards the woods. Those, these guys will sit more like that. And then this line will fall back like that. Uh, we won't take too many di casualties because these spikes will absorb some of the bullets. So in that sense, that will kind of save me from a bit of that damage. I could launch, possibly launch an attack. But one might want to wait to launch such an attack. Okay, so we're we're kind of breaking we're kind of breaking these up in the center. These guys are holding on. Not too many casualties anywhere. Uh, this this one is probably the one that has lost the most. But that's only 25 men. Oh, this one's actually lost close to 80 men. Then again, they're facing quite tough resistance. I'm blowing up these guys pretty nasty. Um, can I turn to fire on these? Oh, actually, the guys on the hill. Fire up the side of these. I feel like this side is fine. Cavalry is organized here. They're gonna take hits as the the enemy shoots here and goes through. Unfortunately, so I've already lost um, 12, um, like over 20 men, 20 cavalry units. All right, that looked like it was a perfect shot up the flank there on those units. Otherwise, it's quite the concentration of enemy troops coming down here. Which could also be a target for the artillery as they're very close there. I want to see if we can break these and then maybe push up through here. Looks like the reinforcement's coming from over there. The shots up here is going really well. Because these units are focusing in shooting on the, the units that are close over here. Not going super well here, but I mean, we're not really trading fire that well with them here. What we could do, actually, is have you move over to this side. And I'll have both of these move over to that side. And through that, be able to flank those. As they're on the move, we're not getting as good shots. I feel like we could now switch focus and fire, try and fire through there. And now they're no longer like in the way kind of, of the cap where the cavalry is going. So the cavalry could go up and start to flank through here. And the more I open up here, the more I can turn around to get these. At the same time, I have to remember that there are uh, re enemy reinforcements coming in up the hill there get some more focus fire there. Are you getting shot at? We've lost nine men. Not really anyone focusing in any fire towards this. And you should get pretty good angle of fire from out there. And then bringing in the second one, being able to fire there as well. You know what? I'm gonna order it to fire at this specific area. 
Because firing at the units, it always fires at the corner of the units, right? So, not really getting that bang for my buck. Cavalry units are deploying. But it's a far... I mean, there's not a lot of units to actually... Destroy that way. So I feel like we could hold on, on. Oh, now they're coming down, actually. Let's go through. This is the tier 2 units, tier 1. What we'll do is we'll have these move to that, and then these four units will be the ones moving up through the flank, following the cavalry here, as they punch their way through. Not really getting the amount of fire from the cannons that I want to see going in there. Now I'm gonna get double lined infantry to fire through there. Fire up the side, maybe. Right, the cavalry got through there. More units coming down the hill. Maybe I can break all of this here. Heavy cavalry is going in. Let's continue to focus in smashing up this. Right, the heavy cavalry is gone in. Start breaking up these formations. From here, they're not actually able to take part in the battle, so move forward. And then I want these to move in pretty tight pretty hard there. Okay, now these guys in this area is not too happy with their situation. We're gonna have to move in extra troops. Okay, cavalry is not super happy. The general's coming in to support. Units over here are not happy either. Okay, the guard units are moving in. They should be able to help stop this. Heavy cavalry is holding on, breaking up these units. Could pull back at this point and allow the units now as they are deployed to start shooting up the enemy. They will kind of break up these two units, but I will order them to... Uh, to... Uh, Fire by Neil rank or whatever you want to call it. And this area is now being broken up. They're trying to charge Grenadier Guards. Tough unit to break. But they're getting fla pretty heavy flank fire. And I can bring in the general who can use his pistols a little bit. And then maybe if I bring you on to a flank. And the guards shooting through there. Why isn't this line really shooting that much? There's a ridge right here, which we need to move through. Pretty brave soldiers are holding out against the Grenadier guards. If I order this, oh, they both break at the same time there. General can continue to fire at that. I get some better shots going into this. Let's make sure the general isn't shot away. Looks fine. Actually, not this one just broke. I have to pull back. The cavalry can be moved in again to attack this area. And we've got more enemies coming in from the hill. Alright, let's have the heavy cavalry once more go in, try and break these. Heavy focus on uh, killing the enemies around this area. We have to remember that the enemy outnumbers us quite a lot, as I recall, right? Cavalry going through, trying to break that. 
shrapnel shot being deployed against these, breaking them up. It's quite a lot of units turning up back here. I think we're gonna focus now on the units coming in over here instead. Oh sh That's volunteers, so. Oh, now they're broke. You will move like this, you will come in behind, and now you need to come back across the river. That is not where you would want to fire, right? Let's keep an eye out for enemy reinforcements. For your back. But there's only 121 of you, you will be moved to defend the artillery. Same with this cavalry unit. The other one's 33, I mean... It can be kept kind of behind line to... Uh, because it's an elite unit, it will uh, give elite bo bonus to uh, the troops. Oh, now they have their own field howitzer, have they? I've noticed this. Okay, so when reinforcement troops are being brought in on the field, the uniforms turn to shit. You know what? I want to. I want to return fire on that thing immediately and destroy it. Well, they got one on each side. That unit is now broken. I want the guards up on the hill, and then they can fire from there. And then I want the rest of the Hanoverian troops to make one line across the field. Right, looks good. Are you guys trying to break this up? You haven't fired a single shot at it. Fired the one straight ahead then. Go on, destroy it. Could possibly be better to... Um, oh, they're just with that, they're already kind of breaking. And as you saw, this conscript unit... It's conscript, co colonial... Conscript, colonial, volunteer... Kirker rifles. They do not have in terms of strength, they do not have a lot of good troops left, do they? This will um, end pretty soon. Are they moving into the attack? No, they're just moving back and forth. Right. We'll make a straightforward advance, quick advance through there. The guards Go up, make a line on the hill, fire down. Oh, why did I brought, bring you? That wasn't the point. Oh, the cannon is already broken. Then you can fire on the second one. You can stop the guards maybe a little bit early. So we managed to get everyone to actually get in on fire on this. They're breaking even before I've started shooting. Although so so some of my units as well. Maybe it would be uh, better to fire up the flank of some of the units here, but they are already retreating. I don't have a lot to actually send in on these guys trying to... Uh Your men are routing, sir! We got one unit to route. One of our units to route. Okay, the enemy army is basically r routing now. So we have one at this point. Unfortunately, I don't really have a lot of cavalry to chase down a lot of these. I have general and one unit. I can actually bring in this one as well. Right, hold fire then uh, start chasing them down.
Here's the result of the battle. Not as conclusive as I might have wanted it. We deployed 5,000 men. We lost half of it. 2,500. And the enemy deployed about 11,000, almost 12,000 men, losing 6,000. So we both lost about half. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to really chase them down. This army has previously lost its two Lancer units. So it didn't have any lighter cavalry to chase down the troops. And the heavy cavalry was already tired at the start uh, after that charge early on. In terms of kills... We got Hanovering Guards, followed by one of the Howards there, achieving 800 kills. So, I got some really snappy shots with those um, shrapnel shots. Uh, followed by Hanovering Guard, uh, normal infantry, and then Guard, and then the Crassiers, and so on. The General was even able to achieve 261, but then again, he was able to chase quite a few of the enemies down. And this opens up the uh, road directly to the British capital. Me, but I... Quite a few troops of the retreating army here comes close. They're actually standing in the way of the troops that are going to, uh, to the castle. I'm gonna go ahead, apparently. That's me, I don't reach. That's the artillery that doesn't reach. But I can actually still bring forward the army and lay the siege. Bruce Clarence! All these bruises. <gasps> Look at that! I will get reinforced by Hoshikawa Toshida from the Imawa Kuni with a lot of artillery. I don't need to bring any artillery. I've got these old Mythbuster cannons. And I will get my own cannons in reinforcement. However, I feel as though this is not enough. I'm going to have to bring in more troops, right? And the troops that we're going to bring is the guys from the north. But first, I need to destroy some of these. So we got a single regiment of Gurkhas up here. Looks like I'm taking no casualties whatsoever in this fight. Which is how it should be. If this had been Napoleon or Empire or something, I'm sure the Gurkhas would still like manage to kill one of my units or something. Something strange like that. Uh, this army will continue on. And this one should be the same. It's we We'll probably lose a few men. But not a lot. So we've lost about 250, maybe 600, 435. No unit destroyed, and we annihilated yet another British unit. Now at this point, I'm sure the British would actually go ahead and like surrender. I'm going to leave the cavalry with the artillery, and I'm just going to bring up the general and the infantry, so they'll be able to reinforce this army. And there we've got it. We've got it all lined up to take out the British. At this point, I'm sure if I extended the offer, the British would accept peace and become a vassalage. Uh, however, um, as we saw with the Americans, I think it's better to break them down and then rise them up again because that will reset a lot of the unhappiness, if I recall correctly. Um, so yeah, this is going to be interesting because this is the first time I get an AI reinforcing me. I was hoping, actually, I was trying to wait for as long as possible because the Americans were coming up. So I was thinking, you know what, if I wait long enough, the Americans will come up and we'll get an interesting battle where we have the Americans aiding us in the fight. Well, with that said, let's go ahead and take on the final castle here. I'm pretty sure all the f like finals castles have special like areas, so hopefully this is a rather interesting castle to attack, not just the same old, same old. This is 
probably the most annoying castle there is because of the access points to it. So there's, uh, I believe, three of them. So you have to, all three of them are kind of like this. So you have to go through this. And then here, doesn't seem like there is a way up, but there is actually a slight way up here. And then to actually get into the castle, because the doors are actually open, you go through this. But imagine fitting a few hundred or thousands of troops through this passage. Once you're through there, then that's not enough. Now you have to pass another bridge through here, up through here and there, and then get to here. And that's one of the access ways. That's the one we spawned at. Then there's this one over here, where you go through, up through here, into this. Then down this, through here, up here, and then there, and then in there. And then probably one of the worst ones is this one here. As soon as you come through the gate, they, they usually have troops on this side. So as soon as you come through the gate, unorganized, you get shot to pieces. You have to set up trying to defeat this wall, then move your way after that through here, up through here, and then into here, and then into the castle. Absolutely worthless. With that said, it's probably going to take me quite a while to get all the troops into position. We've managed to get over so we control this side, at least. And uh, we should start to make our way across and then assault the final bit. I've started already firing with my cannons to break apart the wall here. Make it easier for me to shoot them down. Uh, but there is where I am right now. Victory is assured, sir. I'm about to do something really cheeky here. I have uh, ordered my troops in and we've taken control of this bit right here. So these are my troops. And I'm ordering them now to set fire to this gate right here. And once that explodes, it might take some of my men unfortunately with it. But I mean the game might crash <laughs> because there's, there's so many enemies in there. And they're all going to die. Alright, we can sit here slowly or watch as it burns down. The explosion of the gate should take like everyone with it. So everyone standing inside and anyone standing on top of it and then down a bit there on the stairs. Given how long... Th there we go. Holy... Crap. That killed a lot. You know what? There's, there's barely anyone left down there. The amount the amount of people that just flew up and died. It's immense. And with that I was able to win because I had moved the troop in to take control of the courtyard. And so there we go. Unfortunately, my friends didn't really help me but never mind that it just means more glory to me for having captured this castle decisive victory we've brought the British low unfortunately one of my units died in the process um, re once again retreating through enemies and in that way killing itself out of 9,000 men we lost a thousand the enemy lost everything highest killers goes to the howitzers which is kind of surprising. They didn't do any direct kills. I wonder how many of the British troops died in the explosion. Or when the gate burned down. Because that probably killed... I mean, let's say there were three units. And each unit comprised of 400 men, give or take. And we're looking at about a thousand people who died in one go there. But... Wonderful. We have captured the final area and we're now going to make Great Britain our vassal. How wonderful isn't that? They Oh, they got tea anyways. I was hoping <laughs> I was hoping to set up them with a, uh, 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 when we first started fighting them. I was hoping to set them up here so they got tea. But they ended up getting tea anyways. 
Wait, this is the this this is the starting province, and they start with T. How very British of them. Um, army here, not too happy with this situation, but everything is under control right now. And currently, the only war area we have is the one up here, where these idiots are laying siege. Now we can hold that for another four turns. So it looks like I'm gonna have to march out and attack them. I don't even know why they even try going through here because they're never gonna get it, are they? And especially now when I can focus in everything on them. With this, I think, I guess, we've done the field battle, we did a little bit of siege. There isn't really anything else for me left to do here. Let's go ahead and sign... Tr oh, they're even friendly! Past grievances minus 145. Remember that before, when we were at war with them, we had like almost 800 minus with them. Now we've got 60 plus. Um, we're gonna go ahead and offer trade. And then I'm gonna pay them a little bit. How about a nice sum of 50,000? Get them on their feet. Unlike the British, or unlike the Americans. Oh, we go. We can trade with these. They're very friendly. Why did trade break down with that that clan? It is good to see Why a is friendly it? face. Why Come, is it not possible? You stupid bastard! Now I'm overpaying. What? Still unacceptable? I'm overpaying like hell for this. But basically, I just want the happiness that comes with setting up trade. That seems really odd, because we're really friendly with each other. You know what, I'll add... I'll give them about 5,000. Five that should bring it up to the max in terms of gift, right? Gift appreciated 86. Okay, we can get a little bit more. Um, I'm so, to let's you. give them 2,500. That should bring them up to 91. Uh, well, my friendliness is 115. Still unacceptable. How much do I need to pay? I think it's one of those things where the more money you have... The, I'm giving you 100,000. It's no way that's ever going to be paid back. How is that not acceptable? You really just don't want to buy my goods. Currently, I am trading with everyone except this clan right here. Um, and the French. And these guys, of course. They are allied with these, so I guess in one way it's like, you know, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, but it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> I said that too many times without actually saying it, continue to say anything. Well, it's kind of like, uh, um, should I cut that away? I almost feel like I want to because uh, it sounds like shit. Um, right. I don't think we have any time because it's going to take quite a while. First of all, after this war with the British and all the fighting and bloodshed, I am going to have to reorganize the armies again. And like units destroyed needs to be refilled, reorganized a little bit. Some units need uh, replacement units and stuff like that. And the um, the armies up here is not really ready to move yet, just yet. So they need to be organized a little bit more. But then when we come back for the next one, which I guess will be in 1867 will be ready for the invasion of the French. Uh, I might go ahead and do it like a double invasion, so we send the rest. We send the tier two to, f to deal with the French, and the rest of my armies will head across and attack the Koreans. Uh, yeah. 
With that said, I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.